Lana here and today I want to finally show you guys how I fit all of my hair under a wig because I got a lot of hair and it looks like it looks so dry right now it looks horrible I've worn wigs before and you guys always want to know how I actually fit my hair under it it's down it's down to my hip that's the power of shrinkage for you like when I put it out straight it's on my hip bone I need to fit all of this under a wig I don't want it to look bumpy and I don't want it to look just crazy like I don't want to look like a big pumpkin head or something like that so I need to make sure that it lays flat and I want to make sure that my hair is healthy underneath as well so before I knew what I do I used to watch tutorials about this and I literally used to see people and they would take all of their hair like this they would wrap it in a little bun like this and that would be it they'd be good to go we're good that's not gonna work for me and it's not gonna work for you here I am and I'm gonna show you guys how I do it thumbs up this video if it turns out helping you and also join the summer squad become a sunbeam by hitting the subscribe button turn on your notifications so you don't miss my uploads I upload every week let's go ahead and get into the video the first thing that I want to do is I want to either wash my hair or just get it really wet because I feel like this works better on wet to damp hair you can use a spray bottle like this so we're gonna spray the heck out of our hair we want to get this like I, I basically want my hair to be pretty much wet like forget forget just spraying it a little bit like spray it a lot or just stick your head under the shower you know or do this straight out of the shower like because I'm only doing this like this because it's a video but you guys know how to make your hair wet so just choose your favorite way pour a glass of water over it if you want stick your head in a bucket if you want stand that in the rain if you want <laughs> so you can separate your hair this water bottle is really good because you don't have to keep pumping it like you just do it a couple of times and then it just stays going so this is a flareosol you can this one like my flareosol is by hair flare which is like the same brand that does curl formers but you can get flareosols like on amazon i will link it down below and then when my hair's like this i'm gonna actually take like you can take a leave-in conditioner or an oil i'm actually taking a hair mask and use this overnight so i'm i'm gonna keep this style overnight so this is just gonna help keep your hair like hydrated and nourished whilst you have this style so you know you might as well make the most of it if your hair is going to be tucked away no one's going to see your hair you might as well deep condition it you know like why wouldn't you it just makes sense like obviously if you're planning to keep your style for a lot longer like a week two weeks even even longer then you might prefer just to use some oils and you probably want to apply some oils to your scalp as well i think i will do that it's really going to help to keep your scalp like hydrated moisturized it's gonna prevent a lot of itchiness as well. You definitely don't want an itchy scalp if your scalp is hidden under a wig because you can't scratch it. And that's gonna be so annoying. So put some oil on it to help kind of minimize that. So I'm just gonna put this all over. And then of course I need to detangle my hair as well. So I've got my tangle teaser. This is just like a regular tangle teaser, I think. And I'm just gonna detangle my hair. You know how it goes. Be gentle with your hair when you're detangling and go from the bottom up. So let's do this, let's go. My hair's fully detangled and it's definitely damp, which is how I want it to be because it's definitely easier to make it to go flat when it's damp. And it's just easier to work with because I'm gonna do some cornrows. That is just the best thing for me. That's what works the best. If you don't know how to cornrow, then I will try my hardest to show you in this video, but I do have other videos showing you exactly how to cornrow. So the most important thing for this step is actually separating the hair in the right places. So it depends like if you're gonna wear a wig cap, what color wig cap, what type of wig cap. And I feel like it just helps, especially if you're gonna leave some of your edges out as well. So I'm gonna separate my hair in the middle. Because basically what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to give myself a part parting in my hair where I'm likely to part the wig. So if I part the wig in the middle, and you know, if I wanna leave some hair out, I wanna be able to just take some hair out and it won't be very hard because I've already got a parting in my natural hair. So I wanna have a parting there. And I also wanna have a parting down the sides because I might part the wig on the side. So I might part the wig on this side and I might part it on the other side. So I'm gonna to need to have a parting here. I'm gonna need a parting here. So let's try and fix this out. Like I need to figure out where I'm likely to part the wig. Probably about there. So that means that I'm gonna to need to make a braid here. I'm gonna make this one go down because I feel like it makes it easier for me to like put the combs into a braid that's going down. Like if I put the comb in, if I had all the cornrows going back like this and I tried to slide the combs in, I feel like it can kind of get caught and tug on my hair and stuff. Whereas if I have it going down like this, it can literally just hook onto the cornrow. You guys will see what I mean, I hope. So let's figure out where these clips are. There. 
So I just figured out where the clips are actually going. So this doesn't have to be like a perfect cornrow. It doesn't even need to be straight. Like literally, you want to put a wig on top. So it doesn't matter what this looks like. And you can make it inverted or you can make it like, like a French braid. It doesn't even need to be a cornrow, honestly, but I'm doing a cornrow. I take this top section then I split that into three sections and then I start taking them under the middle section alternating and then with every turn I take some hair a lot of the time when you're doing this you're trying to make it look like really chunky you're not trying to make it chunky this time you're trying to make it flat so just try and take some even pieces of hair on both sides you see now there's a braid here and th I think this is where the clip is gonna slide in so the clip on the wig should just hook onto the braid that's why I did it like that so hopefully in the right place hopefully it will work the way i want it to it should do keep on braiding and you do want to try and keep this tight to your head so once you run out of hair for this section just go ahead and braid it all the way down to the ends you don't want to leave any of your hair out because if you do that then when it gets dry it will get puffy it's a lot easier to make the braid really compact on wet hair so i'm actually going to make this tighter around my ears so then you want to go ahead and you want to do the same thing on this side so we know we're probably going to have a parting around about here if we ever do a side part on that side. I think this really just helps you out in the long run. Remember to keep it tight around your ears because you don't want to have loose hair around your ears because that could just make things look a bit messy when you have the wig on. Also you might end up wanting to put some glue around here for the wig and you don't want to end up with like loose hair and you don't want to end up putting glue on your hair so just keep all of your hair out of the way keep a little baby curl and it's gonna go up brush it out detangle it make sure that it's as tight and compact as possible the best way to do that is just make sure it's detangled it's wet it's damp make sure you braid it all the way down to the ends and my ends are a bit dry so i'm just gonna spray them then you want to take the rest of your hair and the only parting that we have left that we really care about is the middle parting so we'll probably just do two more cornrows and we'll leave this middle parting. It's only really the partings at the front of your hair that matter because you're probably not going to see any parting in the rest of your hair and like you probably will have a wig cap on and it's quite common for wig caps to slip back but like it's not going to matter about the rest of your hair so like it does not matter you don't have to worry about that so just take the top section and just start doing a cornrow like your main focus as always is trying to keep your hair really flat and just make sure you can still see the partings especially at the front like it literally really only matters at the front and then you can just do whatever you like at the back <laughs> and keep it flat hold it tight not too tight though like don't give yourself a headache like you should be able to feel it if it's too tight if it's too tight then just loosen it up a bit so now that you've got your cornrows You can go ahead and start wrapping them up because you can't leave them out because they will poke out underneath the wig so we can't do that i also want to take some edge control and just make sure that your edges are out before you start sticking things down because as soon as you start kind of clipping things down and securing things down it starts to get harder to get your edges out so if you want your edges to be out like i do then get them out first get them out get them out of there So I'm gonna take these outside ones first and I'm just gonna pull this around the back of my head and I'm just gonna wrap it all the way around like this. Kind of like Pippi Longstockings. I don't really know what Pippi Longstockings looks like to be honest, but I imagine it's something like this. You know, like a milkmaid braid. That's what we're going for. So then go ahead and do the same thing on this one, like this outside one. And clip it down. I'm literally just using bobby pins for this. You might be able to find like a clip that will do it more securely, but for me it's bobby pins. And if you feel like it's catching your hair, then just take it out because like it's not gonna get better. It's not gonna stop feeling like it's pulling. It's just gonna get more and more irritating. So just take it out and do it again. And then do the same with these braids, which are a bit chunkier. So like make sure you try and make these as flat as possible still even though they're chunkier we can still make them flat on our heads use a poppy pin there and use a poppy pin on this side 
The last one is kind of gonna wrap around in a circle because we've kind of run out of space now. If I try and put this here, then it's gonna look really chunky at the back of my head. So I'm gonna put it flat like this and it's gonna curl around like a little snake. Poppy pin it down. I wanna show you guys that up close to make sure you know what I did. So now I look basically bald. So then you wanna go ahead and take a wig cap. And I just got this new wig. And I'm kind of bummed because they sent me black wig caps. If you can get like a skin colored wig cap, that's better. And if you can get it lighter than your skin tone, then that's even better because if you look at your scalp, your scalp is kind of pale. That's how to make a wig look natural. Like if it looks pale in between the hair, then it will look like a real scalp. If it looks black between the hair, then it looks like a wig, it looks fake. But this is the only wig cap that I can find, it's the only one I've got right now. So we're gonna have to make this work. They're super tight and you've got to pull that all over all of your hair. Try not to, try not to wreck it. <laughs> so just pull it on like this. And that will squish everything down you can kind of pull it back and then you see what I mean about the partings. So it kind of helps that we have a parting here, like we can work with that, that's going to be helpful to us. And it helps that we've got our partings here and here as well. So that's how I prep my hair, that's how I get all of my hair to fit under wigs. I know a lot of you guys were asking because I do have a lot of natural hair and it's perfectly normal like even though you're like part of the natural hair community, even if you've got long hair, even if people think that you don't need a wig because you've got long hair or big hair, you are still human and you can still switch things up if you want to do. So like me, like I love having natural hair. That's why I make so many curly hair videos. <laughs> but of course, I like to switch up my look every now and then. So I wear wigs every now and then, you know, like we like to have some fun. We like to play with our look. So I like to wear wigs. So I need this, this is necessary. <laughs> so I'm glad that I found a way how to do it. I really hope this video was helpful to you as well. Please thumbs it up if it was. And also don't forget to become part of the summer squad cause you know, I'm Lana Summer and you guys are the summer squad and become a sunbeam by hitting the subscribe button and also turn on your notifications to make sure you don't miss my uploads. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye. Oh, did you